Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to create another sample oscillator patch in this video, but we're going to get a little bit more detailed with the sampling process here. Uh, so what I've done this time around is I have sampled a piano, uh, once again using the auto sampler on my machine. However, this time uh, I've kept the same settings for the pitches. Uh, with something like a piano, typically you may want to do more samples. Uh, but for the sake of this demo, we've kept it at a stride of 12 from C1 to C6. So once again, like I said in the last video, uh, that would sample at C1, C2, C3, and so forth. However, this time around, I've also opted to sample multiple velocities. Uh, this time around, I have sampled from velocity of 40. Uh, right up to a velocity of 120 with a stride of 40. So that means every 40 uh, value on of the velocity it's going to resample again. That gives me a value of 40, 80, and 120 for each pitch. So for C1, we have 40, 80, and 120. So three samples per octave. Um, are we going to bring all of these in again, just like we did previously? Uh, we'll say import, that's correct, and we'll map around the root keys once again. And yeah, you can see we have all our samples inserted into Anna 2. I'm once again just going to do a little bit of housekeeping here and just uh, sort by name. So everything is nice and neat. And we'll again set up our root keys. Uh, now I'm going to do this manually again because uh, I want to just show you a little feature here. Uh, a nice little thing here when setting up the root keys, especially when you're working with velocities like this, is you can actually move root keys all together for all of these. So we know this is C1 and we can actually just move this one and you'll see because we have a multi-selection here now as soon as I let go, all of those get set to C1. We'll do C2 again, C3. C4, C5, and almost done, the last octave, C6. Right, so we go back to zone again, let's just select all of our samples, and right click, we'll say map around the root keys, and once again we've got everything set up. Now you'll notice that what's happened here is it's, it's done something funny, it's kind of got this one just at C1, it hasn't actually spread it out. Uh, it's spread out this sample and then that one in the opposite direction. Now this is because they are all occupying the same velocity range currently. Uh, if we play this back, we've got some samples playing there, but not currently the way that they should be. So we can just quickly correct this uh, by adjusting this one down. We'll just quickly just map all of these to the right place. Again, you can do this all at the same time. And we'll map these up to there. So now this should be playing correctly. And once again, I'm just going to gain all of my samples up a little bit here. So we've got these playing now, but what's happening is it's actually playing three samples per key currently, which is not what we want. So we're going to come into the velocity tab now, and we can set the velocity ranges here for these. So what we're going to be doing here is uh, this one should play from 40 and down. And what I should do here is select all of the 40s once again we can do this uh, all at the same time with a multi-selection take all the 40s and we'll put all the 40s from velocity value 40 and down and everything right then everything at 80 we're going to have from 80 down to 41 and lastly the 120s are going to be 81 to 127 Right, so there we go. You can see there are now no overlapping sections here at all. Uh, so we've got our soft notes mapped to a low velocity and our harder notes mapped to a higher velocity. Everything should be working correctly now. So if we can come back into our MS Editor and we can play these back and see the zones are all lined up correctly as well. And cool. So let's test this out, see that we got everything right. We'll play some soft notes in first.
gradually get a little bit harder. Cool, so we've got something super expressive now because we have this, this range of velocities in there and then also obviously some multi-sampled over the keyboard. So you could uh, get really involved in this and do very detailed uh, multi-samples as well. You could sample every note uh, on the keyboard if you're doing an acoustic instrument like a piano and then have you know maybe 10 or 15 different velocity layers that you could have uh, set up here. Uh, once again, all you need to do here is then just go and save your work. So we can just go save and save this as. I'll just put this into the piano section here and call this piano test. And bam. There we go. So we've got our uh, multi sampled, multi velocity layered uh, oscillator preset for Anna 2 all sorted. Great, so we're going to get into the next video. We're going to take a look at another application for the multi-sampling in Anna 2. I'll catch you then. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons.